Pro Creator is a UX design studio. Over the course of five years, we have helped businesses across the globe to transform and scale in their peripheries through our design expertise. We have built brands. We have outbuilt ourselves. Here we are building professional creators. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to the first tutorial in this series of tutorials where you will be learning a great deal about motion design. Today, we explore this amazing library by Airbnb called Lottie. You must have often stumbled across websites where you see amazing vector animations and you would have surely wondered how do they do that. Well, one way to do it and probably the easiest way to do it is through Lottie. Um, Lottie, as you can see here, is an iOS, Android and React Native library that basically renders your After Effects animations in real time, allowing apps, websites to use those animations as easily as they use static images. We create a regular animation in After Effects and then use this tool called Body Movement to convert those animations to blocks of codes and bam, you end up with a crisp vector animation that gets implemented in websites and apps through Lottie. So let's begin. Okay, so consider that we need to animate this part of the screen, this graphic that we see um, for an onboarding screen. Okay, so we'll jump directly to Adobe Illustrator where we have this illustration ready. Now, um, we'll need to drag this illustration into After Effects for carrying out further animations. There are two ways in which you can achieve this, obviously. Um, one of the ways is by saving this particular file as your regular uh, illustrator file so I hit save okay now um, I'll go to after effects and I'll create a new composition with the name onboarding lolly the width and the height say I'll give it 800 hit okay and I have my new composition now I'll import the illustration that we had saved so I'll go to Finder, I'll simply take this illustration and drag it over here. I'll drag it to the timeline and there we go. We have a file ready. Alternatively, what you can do is you can make usage of Adobe libraries. So you open the libraries panel in Illustrator, you drag this illustration in there and automatically it will appear in the libraries panel inside After Effects. So let me just delete this. Let me just drag it from the libraries. There you go. I will align it at the center. And let me let me quickly rename this to onboarding illustration. Now here's a rule: you can only make use of After Effects shapes. For animations you cannot use any kind of illustrator file or any kind of image whatsoever only after effects shape file so I'll right click over here I'll select create shapes from vector layer and BAM you can see there are a lot many inconsistencies now you have these thick lines these these awkward edges around the illustration and well the the one thing that you need to know is whenever you convert anything into shapes in After Effects, it messes up the transparency, it resets it back to 100% and that's the reason why you are seeing these um, darker elements inside the illustration like for example the, the shadow on the neck, it's gotten darker, it's reset to 100% so we'll just delete the original illustration and we'll repair that in a while but the first thing that you gotta do is delete all the merge paths so After Effects creates these paths inside um, the shape that you just made so you have to select all of them each and every one of them that you can find inside the illustration and delete it but that's not all you can see the illustration has got more inconsistencies now than before so that's because there are also a lot a lot many unnecessary artboards that are being created inside this illustrator file so uh, you for example I, I'll select group 1 there are five paths that you see when I tap on path 1 you will see transformation borders I'll just zoom out a little yeah you can see transformation borders around the edges of the illustration now these are the transformation borders 
which tell you that hey these are the paths that you don't need these are the unnecessary paths because the only paths that you need will have the transformation borders wrapped around the element that is in the illustration like you see here in path 4 we have the transformation borders over here the line that we need exactly the others well they're just simply unwanted and these are the elements that are messing up your illustrations so you know i'll just go ahead and delete this so i'll zoom out again a little bit zooming in okay i'll hit all right i'll hit path one and you can see the transformation borders are around the illustration so that clearly means i don't need it so i'll delete it don't worry the illustration will get messed up but eventually when you finish doing everything when you finish cleaning up the entire illustration it will look like the way it was inside your illustrator file so i don't even know i don't even want these so i'll delete it now path 4 as discussed is something that we want because the transformation borders are around the path that we have and so we're going to keep it i've deleted path 5 because it was not wanted now the second thing is the opacity of this line wasn't 100 percent it was um okay it was somewhere around 10 and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change the opacity for that particular element and there we go we have it so similarly we will have to do it for all the other layers every single group inside this shape we're gonna we need to do this follow the same process for all so i'll select all of them i'll expand them i'll quickly clear the unwanted paths okay awesome possum we are done cleaning up the shape and now it looks exactly similar to the illustration that we want all right um another very important rule that you need to know is you cannot make use of any effects inside after effects for the animation you will need to play only with the positioning scaling transparency and rotation of individual objects so let's go ahead with the animation i would want to animate this element i will click on it i will look for the group yep there you go and i will rotate it okay now for that i will need to adjust the anchor point somewhere at the top all right good enough now i'll simply animate this i just want to you know move it a little bit and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I would want to animate something inside the certificate. So I have this Python logo here. I'll just drag it inside my libraries. I'll go back to After Effects and import the same file in here. Now, whenever you import any new file, you have to follow the same procedure again, like I mentioned. So, you'll first convert this into shapes, delete the illustrator file, um, let me just quickly rename it, remove the merge paths, and remove all the unwanted paths. Rename this to Python, and uh, for this animation, I'll just drag that particular object inside my original shape. Now, it's not necessary you do that, but for this animation, I, I mean, it would be convenient for me to do that, so I'm doing it. You can clearly have two separate layers, not a problem. So, what I want to achieve over here is, I want to make the Python logo and the Swift logo appear and disappear alternately. So, I'll just quickly do that. Now, the... Another thing that I want to achieve over here is I want a looping animation, a forever looping animation. So I'll arrange the keyframes accordingly, I'll create the animation accordingly and okay, I can, yep, I can cut it down exactly to 3 seconds. So this is where my animation will end. I have hit N to, uh, uh, you know, 
finish the animation till this point so right now if you can see the animation is repeating and is in a continuous loop now i would ideally want to achieve the same for the first thing that we animated on the graduation hat so i'm just gonna click it i will find the layer there you go i'll hit transform and well uh, since i have decided to end the animation at three seconds and create a forever loop i would also you know ideally want to create uh, this animation which complies to that so okay I'll need to create another keyframe right here I'll select all of them hit alt and drag the last keyframe in so right now we have an exact looping animation ready this thing will just keep on repeating forever and ever All right, uh, so let's animate something more. Let's animate these lines inside the certificate. So I will select the lines. Yep, I'll select. All right, there they are. I'll select all the four. I'll play with their paths and I'll create a really subtle animation. Okay, I've made sure now that they are inside a loop. Now, uh, okay, that seems good enough. Everything's looping correctly. Everything's animating properly. Okay, now let's see how you can install Body Moving. So, Body Moving is something that you will need to install from GitHub over here. You'll find the link in the description. Hit Download Zip, and well, this is a plugin that essentially helps convert your After Effects animation to a JSON file which will then be accepted by Lottie. So you need ZXP installer which you basically use for um, you know installing any sort of extensions. Okay it's done. Now go to Windows extensions and you'll find Body Mover. Okay so there's the window and you can find the, the composition your composition in here you hit settings there are a range of settings in here but I don't really touch any of them um, probably yeah probably demo over here because I would want to see how my illustration uh, how my, I'm sorry my animation has turned out so I'll select this I hit the destination folder I'll go to documents okay I'll create a new folder here Okay, and I'll hit save and render. Finish just in seconds. Amazing. We'll go to we'll hit done. Go to Finder and open this in Google Chrome or any browser that you use. So there you go. You have your crisp animation animating in a loop forever and ever. Great. Now one last thing is uh, to complete this we need to add the pattern at the background that we had originally inside uh, our design. So I'll just adjust this, I'll push it at the back, I'll follow the same process, remove the merge paths, remove the unwanted uh, elements. Okay, I'll mask it. Now you need to know that you can use alpha matte inside any uh, animation that you make that would eventually be churned out into lines of code by body moving. Okay, now I'll hit render. I'll go again to demo. I'll double click this. Bam, there you go. There you have your uh, animation ready. I hope you learned something new today. Hit the like button, leave your comments, and subscribe to keep learning new and exciting stuff.